Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. Iraq and Qatar. Iraq and Qatar affirm the work to activate the Joint Economic Committee to strengthen cooperation. Bad Hussein announced Wednesday, March 21st, the work, first the work will continue to activate the committee between Iraq and Qatar. He said during a joint press conference, Qatari Foreign Minister Mohammed bin is working to activate the Iraqi Qatar Joint Committee on Economic Sessions. Qatari Minister said that they discussed development to strengthen cooperation between Baghdad and Doha, stressing that there's an important opportunity to support the stability of Iraq. He pointed out there is a consensus between the two countries on the regional situation. In a related context, the presidents of the Republican or, or Republic Baram Saleh received at the Peace Palace on in Baghdad, Deputy Prime Minister from Qatar, Mohammed Abdul Rahman, in the presence of Minister Fahd Hussein, Minister of the Presidents, he stated in a statement that the Qatari minister del delivered the President of the Republic a written message from His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, which included an official invitation to a sovereignty to visit Qatar. He added that that they discussed bilateral relations between the two countries and ways to enhance them in the service of common interests between two brotherly peoples, in addition to the developments of relevant regional and international situations. According to the statement, Sela said that the two countries have great responsibility to overcome crisis tensions by coordinating efforts to support dialogue and, and the paths of political solution in settling problems in them to work to stabilize foundations of the regional stability, confront terrorism and extremist ideology, and support opportunities for economic and commercial cooperation development. He continued that ensuring security, stability, sovereignty in Iraq and the basic, basic foundation and a common interest of the security and the stability of the entire region and the interests of its people. For his part, the minister affirmed Qatar's joint work with regional and international parties to preserve the region's security, stability, indicating this country's commitment to support the security, stability, and sovereignty of Iraq to enhance joint bilateral cooperation in various fields. So they're just partnering and working together to support each other. Parliamentary Committee announced the inclusion of the Kurdistan region in the petrodollar fund. Parliamentary Regions and Governance Committee announced on Thursday that the Kurdistan region will be included in the petrodollar fund within the general budget law. The federal budget in its version of prepared voting in Parliament included an increase in the percentage of the petrodollar and reached $5, which was included doubling the allocation sector from $500 billion to $1 trillion in order to be invested in the advancement of oil-producing provinces. The head of the committee told Shafiq News the petrodollar was allocated to the oil producing, which is 3 to $5 per barrel. So there you go. They're going to incur, in, include uh, Kurdistan in, in this fund, this petrodollar fund. So they'll get a portion of those proceeds. Talibani spokesman reveals the latest development about the region's share of the budget. Just more justifications for budget delays as to why the budget can't get approved and they're kicking the budget can. A spokesman for the vice president of the Kurdistan Regional Government, Talibani, confirmed on Thursday that the regional government has concluded three agreements with the federal government regarding the financial dues within less than one year, indicating that the region's share in the budget for 2021 is not the reason for delaying its approval, Harani said in a statement today that since April of last year until now, three agreements have been concluded with the federal government regarding financial dues of the region. He pointed out that the financial that the Finance Committee in the Iraqi Council of Representatives approved an article on the Kurdistan and Regions share, so this quota is not the reason for delaying the approval of the budget, stressing that any time that the situation is needed, the Kurdistan Regional Government's delegation will go to Baghdad. He explained that there are two proposals related to the region's share of financial dues in the budget law, one of which is the Iraqi government's proposal, the other is the proposal of the Finance Committee and the Parliamentary Blocks, and either, and either of them is approved, the regional government is obligated to implement it. Here's a just an amazing, wonderful article that you guys are going to love. I'm saying that sarcastically. Current Iraqi dinar peg will continue for the next 40 years. What they're telling you guys in this article 
is that the value of the Iraq dinar will remain in place for the next four years. Let's see what the source of this article is. That's an important piece to factor in on this. Solmani, Director of the Department of Financial Operations and Debt Management of Iraq's Central Bank, Mohammed Dagger. So guys, this article is coming from, not directly from the CBI governor, but from a gentleman who's the Director of Department of Financial Operations and Debt Management of the Central Bank. This year, this is him bringing this to us. On Wednesday, that the price of the dollar against the dinar will remain fixed at the current price for the next four years. So this gentleman from within the central bank is saying that the value of the dinar is going to stay in place for the next four years. During an appearance, NRT's interview program, Dogger said the Council of Representatives did not have the authority to make changes in the price of the U.S. dollar. $100 was at 144,750 Iraq dinar as of Wednesday. The devaluation of the dinar which was included in the federal government's 2021 budget, was designed to preserve Iraq's dollar reserves and, and allow the government to spend more Iraqi dinar. The move, however, made imports and goods originally priced in other currencies like hydrocarbons more expensive. On Wednesday, the governor of the central bank, Iraq, Mustafa Galeb, said that the devaluation of the Iraq dinar this winter enhanced the country's financial sustainability because the move increased the country's foreign currency reserves and strengthens its public finances. So guys, this article is very negative for us because this is a gentleman that works from within Iraq Central Bank and he's saying that the current Iraq dinar will peg, the value, the peg will continue and stay in place for the next four years. So this gentleman from the central bank is basically saying uh, the rate's not going to change for the next four years. You guys are the best. Take care. God bless you guys and have a great day.